Hi everyone, it's Jenny. Today I'm going to be doing a face mask um, and softly speaking for you. I haven't got any makeup on, well, a bit of like yesterday's mascara, but I don't have any um, face makeup. Actually, the light hides it quite well, but if I was stood back, you can see that my face is quite blemished at the moment. So, what I'm going to be using today is um, a new face mask that I got from the company Lush. Um, this is an amazing company. Um, it's called Cranberry and it's a festive face mask. Um, and it says dress your face in antioxidant cranberries and restorative argan oil for seriously smooth skin. So it's quite, um, I've been using this quite often. Um, I just wanna, oh god it smells so good. Do you have a look, it's like, um, quite pink inside, it doesn't have a, does it? We have a little look at the, um, I'll read the ingredients to you once I've got it on my face actually, because it takes a little while and you've got to leave it on for quite a long time. So I'm just going to tie my hair up. As you can tell, I have, without my makeup, I've got quite big bags under my eyes. But it wasn't long ago that I got up, so. So hair's up. Um, what I'm going to use to apply it is, um, this fat brush thing. Um, and I'm just going to wet my, um, brush in a little bit of this bowl of water that I've got inside the bowl. I've got a, um, it's a baby wipe, not a makeup, um, like a makeup removal wipe. It's a baby wipe, um, like a sensitive one, and I actually washed it out because I didn't want any of the um, of the lotion or anything that they have on it. Because I literally just wanted it to clean with. And to the water, I've added um, a cap full of rose water, um, which you guys saw in one of my videos recently. Um, and also peppermint tea, which I'm drinking, or going to be drinking. Oh, but it's really, really hot. Um, so it's just a... It's far too hot to drink. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to wait for that for a little while. But yeah, some peppermint, some fresh mint that I got from, um, one of the little Turkish shops down the road where we get our mint from, um, where we get our meat from even. And um, they sell the best mint. Okay, so this stuff is really thick. So it's not the easiest thing to apply with a brush. And I'm gonna have to look a little bit low the camera because I have my computer screen, which I'm trying to use as a bit of a mirror. A lot of you are <clears throat> asking for um, like videos of me brushing my face, so I kind of figured this would be filling that a little bit. I will do one of my face brushing videos again, like the other one, the 2015 updated version. Once I've got a little bit of time.
had this on <clears throat> in the bath the other day and um, my partner came upstairs and told me I looked like something out of The Walking Dead or I, but I had, like I had a bowl there which I thought was charming of him it was my birthday as well five-year-old daughter is very into doing face masks and things so I like to get them from Lush because they're all natural um, and they won't harm the skin got to use quite a lot of it because <laughs> it doesn't last very long um, because it's used with fresh ingredients um, you can't really see very well because it's oh, there we go, I look a little bit more scary now <laughs> um, because it's made with fresh ingredients it goes off quite so I think I've got until I just washed my brush. I think I've got <clears throat> until um, the fifteenth of December. She said. Oh no, hang on. Oh, the first of December. So it doesn't last very long, and you've got to keep it in the fridge. So I'm just gonna. was made by Ewelina on the 4th of November 2015 and you need to use it by the 1st of December 2015. You have to keep it in the fridge. Um, the ingredients are kaolin, cranberries, glycerin, organic silken, tofu, fennel seed infusion, argan oil, talc, fresh fennel, fresh chicory, rose clay, bentone, patchouli oil, lemongrass oil, sandalwood oil, benzyl alcohol, citral citronol, coumarin, that's not coumarin, it's coumarin, I don't know what coumarin is. Jiren oil, Lana Lol. And it's suitable for vegans. Now it wasn't cheap. It was, I guess, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was about ten euros. So that's not too bad. And it comes in a really cute little pot. <clears throat> it says to use cover your face in a generous layer and relax for 10 or for 5 to fit can't speak for 5 to 10 minutes and then rinse off and then you can bring back 5 clean lush pots or tubes with this logo and get one fresh mask free it's pretty good. It will take me. Well, I will do that, but it'll take me another four months if they only last. I'm just trying to get my camera to focus a little better. Hang on. Better. Um. Yeah. 
so each one's going to last a month so it takes quite a long time for you to use it they're really nice though and it's so true this works so nicely on the skin my daughter's actually been starting to get a little bit of eczema just like around her chin and around the bottoms of her nose <clears throat> we don't use any harsh products at all um, when you were bathing and things like that um, because we've all got quite sensitive skin I had eczema as a child and my partner's got quite he gets quite bad eczema like even now sometimes because we, he's quite allergic to things so all of our um, all of our like washing detergents are all hypoallergenic and um, yeah I don't use any harsh chemicals or anything cleaning so I'm quite surprised um, that she's having those issues on her face um, so I've been trying for well, the last couple of days to use the rose water just give her a little bit of a cleanse with that because um, I don't really want to start using anything else and I certainly don't want to go to the doctors and for them to you know, subscribe her um, you know, creams with steroids or anything that seems to be the first thing the doctors do is just throw a load of steroid cream at you and that's not what I think is good because I think it really gets rid of the problem in the end um, so yes, yeah, so I'll let you know if that Um, I'm not sure if I've got anything else, any news that I had to tell you. Oh, it's really strong. Another thing I was thinking of doing was, um, I'm a massive fan of Pinterest and I've spent a lot of time on Pinterest and I've got all kinds of different, um, boards and things like that. And I've got one for DIY beauty so I was going to see, try out some homemade recipes you guys and see um, how they are. I've got a really nice honey lemon and oat one uh, which sounded lovely and wholesome for the winter and of course it is winter now so um, well for where I am in the world it is. So yeah lots of nice homely things like that I've got planned. I know it's Christmas coming up. Um, I haven't actually got any Christmas videos planned this year. I've got oh, some amazing Christmas magazines that I want to go through, so perhaps we could go through those together. And then um, we've got um, the Christmas tree, obviously, once the Christmas tree's up. Then I'll do a little show around of my Christmas decorations and show you guys the new house. I say new, but I've been here nearly a year. Hence my original sort of stopping videos. There's a big storm rolling in tonight and tonight's my filming night, I sort of set myself a night, a week, um, to be able to film. Um, it's a night when the house is quiet and my daughter's out and my partner's out working and I can, you know, I sort of try and power through as much of my work as possible because I now work from home. Um, 
so that I can sort of spare myself the whole evening to be able to devote to you guys and spend time with you guys. Um, but annoyingly, there's a massive storm coming, so I figured I'd try and film this video now this morning before the worst of it arrives. And if it gets too bad and I can't film, then at least I've done something. <sighs> but anyway, I think tomorrow we're going to go to Italy for the day. Um, so I might very well do a little haul video. Um, every time I go to Italy, it's mainly to go to the fruit and veg markets because they're incredible um, near where we live. And um, that bit there looks really annoying. And uh, but it's going to be weird because we've got a lot of refugees. Um, there's obviously a refugee crisis happening in the world, and there are a lot that have arrived on the French border near where I live. Um, and a little while back, there were all these awful images of them all um, sleeping on rocks by the sea and on the beach, and it was freezing cold and raining and they had the sort of those shiny like um what are they called like the shiny coats or like blankets like the aluminium blankets that the red cross give out and we've been warned not to go there um no for whatever reasons i'm not even sure why um, but apparently there's quite a lot of crimes gone up, but I don't think that's true. I don't know, but I think we're going to go anyway, because it's a lovely day out, and I also think it's a little bit sort of ignorant to sit at home and when it's so close and not have a look and try and understand it and pretend it's not happening when it's as close as it is. So I don't know. Okay, so I think it's been on for about eight minutes, I think. So I'm going to start taking it off. My nice little warm bowl of water is no longer warm. And it's going to get cold because it's so thick. It's not the easiest of masks to take off and I usually do it in the sink so this is <clears throat> going to prove interesting. can hear the wind I'm assuming probably a lot better than I can because I've got my um, very sensitive microphone that can sort of pick up everything so I'm sure you can hear every car go past and all the shutters um, banging I cannot but it's definitely interesting because um, you can plug my headphones into my mic it's definitely a different sound quality from my own organic ears there's 
a lot of sirens today. If, oh, just in case any of you are watching, quite a lot of people have asked if I'm okay since last Friday's events in Paris. I don't live anywhere near Paris, so we were fine. Um, but it was very sad. That actually all happened on my birthday, and we were all out at a big birthday party that we'd had planned, and I think we found out about it at about 11.30 midnight, and it put a big damper on the evening, and we pretty much all went home, to be honest, to watch the news. And they just um, foiled, well, broke into a house not very far from here and arrested three people yesterday with links to terrorism which is quite worrying and they have security outside my daughter's school now and do so we're not even allowed into the school as a teacher it's a lot of sirens today Sorry about that. It's not very relaxing for you. Um, so a teacher has to stand on the door at the gate, so you can't even walk in to pick your child up. And she'll stand on the gate, and the other teacher will go inside the school and collect your child, where they're hidden quite far back. Um, is a very strange setup. I'm sure that they're not going to kill young school children. There's also quite a lot of Muslims at the school that my daughter goes to, so it would be a strange place for a terrorism attack, but then again, I guess you just never know, do you? <clears throat> I think it makes me very sad because my daughter will never have the upbringing. Ow, oh, sorry. My foot's gone dead. Um, the upbringing that I had where we were allowed to completely roam free and my mum would let us go in the morning in the summer holidays and we wouldn't have to be home until the evening um, when the sun was going down was our curfew um, well that was it Skin, but it feels very moisturised and lovely actually. I do love this moat though, it's a little bit of moat. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video and my little rambling and I look forward to speaking to you soon.